So you ever gonna speak again? Come on, Joe, say something. What do you want me to say, Pacey? You were right? You were right, okay? Right as always. Pacey Witter, the only person in my life who ever speaks the truth. That's not entirely accurate. Well, you told me what was going to happen. Which was what, Joe? What happened up there? <sighs> there was another girl. Oh. I'm sorry, Joe. You know, the whole time that I was watching them, I just kept thinking, this is it. This is real. Just like Pacey said, this is the real thing. And it reminded me once again what exactly I don't have. If you keep looking, you'll find it. I won't. I mean, isn't that obvious by now? I'm not meant to. Why? Because you're 16 and alone? Come on. No, because I'm 16, and in my entire life, there have been two people who've actually known me, Pacey, Dawson and... This AJ guy didn't know you. All right, I don't care how you felt about him, Joe. He didn't know you, because if he did, he never would have walked away. I was going to say you, Pacey. <sighs> okay. Have you totally lost it? No, not totally. What did you mean by that? Well, what? About me knowing you better than anybody else. Exactly what I said, Pacey. You know me, okay? In a, in a way that nobody else besides Dawson ever has. We're not talking has, about so... Dawson right now. We're talking about me. I mean, you can't keep on doing this to doing me, Potter. what? What, so I count on you and I tell you secrets and, and you suddenly... And you call me in the middle of the night to pick you up. Why? Well, I'm sorry that I called. I thought that I... I'm could... not mad that you called me. I just want to know why you called me. You were the first person that I thought of, Pacey. And what does that mean, Joe? It means that... I guess it... It means that I can talk to you and that you're there for me. Don't you ever get tired of talking? No. No, well, I don't I get, get tired. tired of well, I don't... No, I, I don't want to talk anymore. What are you trying to say, Joe, Pacey? Why are we standing? There's I don't... comfort. Take comfort. Are you insane? How could you do that? How could you take some simple declaration of friendship as an invitation to just maul me, Pacey? Uh, Answer me. How, what were you thinking? What? What? I don't know. God, I mean, it, 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 it was an impulse. An impulse? Yes, an impulse. You know, sudden, momentary, and believe me, fleeting. Do you have any idea the monumental implications of that meaningless little impulse? The ripple effect that it could create on our small but fragile universe? You're right, Potter. Forgive me for thinking a kiss is just a kiss. Well, it's true. A kiss is not just a kiss. Not between you and me, and you know why. Dawson, remember? I mean, he factors into this little hormonal meltdown. Meltdown? Yeah. I just had a meltdown? Forgive me if I don't think that this is the worst tragedy in the history of humankind, that Pacey Witter, in a moment of I I impulsive, compulsive, hormone-induced insanity, would have the nerve to kiss Joey Potter. And you let me do it. You did. You let me do it. So what? Now, I guess the universe begins to unravel. Well, excuse me while I get in the car. Oh. Would you get in the car, Potter? No! Just get in the car, Potter, please. No. Well, I didn't even mean to do it. You know, this is me, Pacey. Act first, think later, okay? And now that I'm getting a chance to think about it, I take it all back, okay? So get in the car. No. Joe, it's at least another six miles to your house. It is freezing cold outside, and if you don't get in, I'm just gonna do this the whole way there. So would you get in, please? So I guess I'm to take it from your angry silence that you're not speaking to me anymore. Nope. Great, great. And how long do you plan on keeping that up? That doesn't definitely sound. Fine. Fine.
one pixie stick, one candy bar, and an orange soda. Hey. 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 Just a second. Listen, if you'll give us two minutes, I'll give you ten sodas and a box of sugar. What do you say? Done. There you go. Hey. Hey again. So look, About I just the other to... night. <sighs> you go first. Well, uh, I just, I, I wanted to... I just wanted to say that uh, I'm sorry. And you know, all that stuff about disaster and Dawson and the, the ripple effect in our universe, it was, it was all right. I mean, what I did, I was just monumentally stupid. I don't know what I was thinking. So I, I just wanted you to know that it was an impulse, plain and simple, one that has left my body permanently. I promise. But it's OK, Pacey. I mean, I totally overreacted. I mean, something isn't a big deal unless you let it be, and, and it, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. I get so upset. I mean, it, it obviously meant, meant nothing, right? Right. Right, because what I did was a mistake. Right. Right, well, um, I guess that puts us back to just being friends. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah, I should uh, probably get going, you know, once that kid gets all that sugar in him. Watch out, he's a little there, you know, probably have to chase him back home. It's two miles, not pretty. Well, then I, I guess I'll, I'll see you later, Pacey. Yeah, I'll see you later, Joe. Are you okay? Not so much, no. What's wrong? Well, it's the history. It's killing me. How can a guy compete when the two of you have your own karaoke routine? Casey, you're not supposed to compete. We're supposed to have our own his... I mean that. Well, what did you mean? I don't even know anymore, Pacey. What? You know this little arrangement we got going between us? Yes. Well, it sucks. It sucks up one side and down the other. It's uncomfortable, it's weird, and I hate every single second of it. Really? Yes. Then why did you come here, Pacey? You know, for a bright girl, you can be really daft sometimes. Why do you think I came here? I, I came here to be with you. It's as simple as that. When you like somebody, proximity is a good thing, regardless of how they feel about you. Or don't, as the case may be. Look, I felt it. What? This morning, your arm brushed up against me in bed, and, and I felt it. How did it feel? It made me feel alive. Okay. Joey, I'm going to kiss you now. You can't. Look, Joe, you can't say something like that to me and expect me not to kiss you. So that's exactly what I want to do. I'm going to kiss you in about 10 seconds. And if you don't want me to kiss you, well, if you don't want me to, I guess then you're just going to have to stop me. any answers right now, okay? Can't you understand that? <laughs> the only reason that you don't have answers is because you've been too scared to ask yourself the right questions. What are you talking about? Look, I know how I feel. 
You know how I feel. That much is obvious by now, but during this whole process, we've managed to miss the point. Because the point is not how I feel, it's how you feel. So how do you feel? Awful. That's how I feel, Pacey. I feel awful. So do I. When I was kissing you tonight, I don't think that I've ever felt better and worse at one time in my entire life. I mean, the very idea that Dawson or Andy would find out about us is killing me. It is tearing me up on the inside to have these feelings for you, but I can't get rid of them. I, just, I can't keep on kissing you, Joe. What do you mean? I mean just that. I can't keep on kissing you. All right, I've done it twice now. I can't be the one that's always initiating this. I can't be the one who's always giving you the answers. Look at me, Joey. You felt even one shred of what I feel for you, then we wouldn't be standing here having this conversation.